Hey everyone, Justin from Core Performance here, coming to you live from our Ice Age studios at our headquarters here in Sterling, Virginia, with an instruction and setup video for our all new for 2021 hook bonded Ice Vents Classic pontoons for plate carrier ventilation. In this video, we're going to cover what's in the box, how they work, how to set them up, and a brief note on care instructions. Let's get started. So let's talk about what comes in the box. What you see here is exactly what is going to come in your package. You get two Ice Vents Classic uh, ventilation pontoons, hook backed, okay, we're gonna get into that in a minute, and you get two uh, cut Velcro pieces. Uh, these are gonna be loop variety, and we'll get into uh, why you're gonna need those or who is gonna need those in a second. That's basically what comes in the box. Okay, how do they work? So ice vents are super simple. We have an awesome video on the specifics, uh, a technical deep dive into the science behind and engineering behind ice vents, which is super awesome. We highly recommend that you watch it. But the bluff is that ice vents are made out of our proprietary stimuli technology. It's totally awesome. Basically, antimicrobial at the molecular level, omnidirectional ventilation, hydrolysis resistance, totally freaking awesome. These things are the gold standard when it comes to load-bearing padding. Um, unlike traditional foam, which is an insulator, ice vents allows for airflow to occur in every direction, what we call omnidirectional ventilation, okay? Uh, and combined with the fact that they are antimicrobial at the molecular, molecular level, which means that the surface is hostile to anything growing on it, they're going to keep it totally safe, totally clean, um, and be really, really easy to take care of. They're basically zero maintenance. In terms of the hydrolysis resistance, it means they don't retain or absorb water. And that means that the weight at the start of your mission is gonna be super, super close to the weight at the end of your mission, no matter how submerged, how wet, how sweaty you get, um, you're gonna be good to go. And uh, you're not gonna carry around any excess weight that uh, you don't need to be carrying. Anybody who's done this for a living knows ounces equal pounds and pounds equal pain. So again, super, super easy. What we're most excited about though, and what makes these Ice Fence Classic Pontoons, totally awesome and different from the old Ice Fence Classic Pontoons, is our new permanently bonded uh, Velcro brand hook surface. And so gone are the days of that adhesive strip that you put on top of the power mesh. You're just going to go out of the box. You're going to be basically ready to go if your plate carrier or your soft body armor vest comes with a loop liner of some sort. Um, again, if you are expecting something like this to feel cold to the touch, it's not going to do that. If you want to feel cold and get that um, supercharger booster rocket effect, you're going to need to go to ice plate curve uh, to get that super powerful conductive cooling. Uh, if you want to know a little bit more about conductive cooling versus evaporative cooling of Ice Vents Classic, all Ice Vents are evaporative cooling, uh, we'll put a link to uh, some blog articles and some videos below. But basically, evaporative cooling is airflow, uh, allows for sweat to evaporate off the surface of your skin. Once the, surf, the sweat evaporates, uh, it removes energy from the mass. In this case, that mass is your body. Uh, in conductive cooling, you have two bodies. In theory, a warm and a cold, or a hot and a cold. Uh, the hot body being your body, the cold body being, or the cold mass being an ice plate curve. You put them together, they're going to attempt to reach what's called thermodynamic equilibrium, and that is where the two bodies uh, will basically transfer energy. The hot body will transfer its energy to the cold body in that attempt to reach thermodynamic equilibrium. That is how ice plate curve works. Super, super powerful. You can't match that type of power with ice vents, but ice vents are passive. They work phenomenally in arid climates, especially. They will provide some ventilation in humid climates, uh, but it, it's not going to be quite as pronounced. Again, examples, uh, dry climate, arid climate is Arizona. Human climate, uh, also a suffocating climate, uh, the Northeast, Massachusetts, uh, New York, etc. cetera. Uh, if you guys didn't get that joke, then I'm really sorry. I can't help you there. But that's basically how ice vents work. Uh, and now we're gonna take a dive into how to set them up. Okay, how do you set up your ice vents classic uh, pontoons? Super, super simple. If you have a modern contemporary carrier, let's say like our ice plate XO um, ice, then it's gonna come with loop on the inside of each of the plate bags, okay? And I'm just going to kind of lay this out here so you can see it. And 
you can see the loop winding and the ventilation uh, built in. And you're just going to take your Ice Vents Classic pontoons out of the box and you're going to place them however you want. Again, uh, all of our Ice Vents now come with our hang tag. And our hang tag is really cool because it has two stickers on the front, but more importantly, comes with QR code on the back. This QR code is probably how you got to this video. It takes you to coreperformance.com forward slash instructions, instructions uh, and set up videos for all of our products. So once you remove that, then you're just gonna place your other ice fence pontoon uh, anywhere you want it. Uh, this is a particularly popular format. Uh, you can also do a, a semi-venturi format. You can do literally whatever floats your boat in. Uh, why do we include these loop strips? These loop strips are for legacy carriers that do not have a loop field on the inside of the carrier or the soft body armor. Uh, again, for light applications, like just going to the range, this adhesive, uh, acrylic adhesive will work. Uh, if you're gonna do a uh, more intense application, infantry live fires, shoot houses, duty use, et cetera, then what we recommend is using the adhesive backing as a way to place the loop onto your carrier uh, that doesn't have loop and then have your uniform tailor or your department tailor uh, stitch those on there so that they don't move. Again, this is just for carrier legacy carriers that don't have loop included. Uh, some examples, uh, Cry, uh, JPC 2.0, the Faro FCPC V5, none of those have loop. Um, some examples of carriers that do, uh, First Spear, uh, this STT has loop fields on the inside. Um, on the uh, entry level side, we have this uh, HRT HRAC with uh, loop also. So again, if you have loop, like Ice Plate XO, you're golden. If you don't, you're still okay. Just gonna wanna take a quick trip to uh, your uniform or department tailor. And that's basically how to set them up. Care instructions. Taking care of your Ice Vents Classic ventilation pontoons, super, super easy. Uh, again, as we mentioned at the beginning of the video, Ice vents are made out of a proprietary stimuli material, which is totally antimicrobial at the molecular level. So in the odd event that you do get these things all thrashed up and yucky, then you're just going to want to take some hot soap and water, warm soap and water, doesn't really matter. Run them through that, then rinse them off under a hose, bottle of water, whatever, and then hang dry and uh, you'll be good to go in, uh, in a short while. They'll dry really quickly and then uh, you can put them back on your kit. Uh, but that basically covers it. Uh, that's a wrap. So if you guys have any questions, as always, you know, you can hit us up in the comments, uh, shoot us a DM on Instagram, uh, live chat us on our website, coreperformance.com. And you can also um, shoot us an email, info at core performance. As always, if this was really, really useful, we uh, would love it if you guys could like, subscribe, comment, and share. Uh, really, really does help us out um, and helps us keep that content coming for you guys. So hope that was helpful. Till next time. Stay frosty.